Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. All right, man, Canelo Alvarez changed his mind on fighting Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford changed his mind on fighting Canelo Alvarez. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video, so they both can change their mind about potentially fighting each other. Um, first, Crawford talk said he was too heavy. To he, he wasn't going up to 168. Canelo said, well, I ain't going to get no credit regardless fighting Terrence Crawford. Well, Canelo don't ever get no credit. Nobody in boxing really get credit they feel like they should deserve. I mean, think about it, the media and fans. They never went through one day of a boxing workout. Then you respect it. I mean, even the shadow boxing is tough. I remember in, uh, what was it, the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, docu documentary about him winning uh, Mr. Universe, I think it was. I think it was called Pumping Iron or whatever it was. It's on YouTube for free. At least it was. YouTube would take it off there for free and put it back on and stuff and then charge and put it back on because they had stumped the yard on there for free for a while and then they started charging for it. But, you know, he was talking about, like, the simple things that were guys who lose the Mr. Universe competition that was the things as simple as posing. And he hired a posing expert. Um, he hired a posing expert um, to really work on him and, and posing. He said a lot of guys would get up there and look fantastic, but when they got the posing, they would get tired and their poses would fall off and... Um, yeah, they poses will fall off. And they wouldn't be, you know, they would lose the competition. So he practiced posing, all this posing and all of this shit. And they would spend hours a day practicing the posing so he could be A1 on, 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 you know, the day where they, you know, had to show off. And I say that to say this. I say that to say this. Even the simplest things that you, that you, that you think is simple, that shit ain't simple. You just sitting there in the ring, bye, bye. You know what I'm saying? The shadow boxing going back and forth, moving your head, moving your feet. Before you know it, you're going to be drenched in sweat and tired in a motherfucker. Hitting that bag cut you right on up. You see why boxers' cheekbones high and they and they face sunk in and, you know, they hitting the bag and, you know, um, you know, they hitting that bag and shit like that. So, um, you know, all the, just the little simple shit that look easy. You know what I'm saying? That's a hard, it's a hard life to live. So they, they all deserve a, 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 a an immense amount of credit for even going through with the workout. <laughs> and then you factor in, you got to condition your body to take punishment. Think about that for a minute. You gotta, you gotta, you know, condition your body to take punishment. Think about that for a minute. You conditioning your body to take punishment. So you got to get in there, get hit, all that. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, like, to me, when he said, well, I wouldn't get credit. I mean, you get credit when you fought Amir Khan. You get credit when you fought John Ryder. Shit, you get credit for getting the ring with Beaver. We knew, real boxing fans knew that was going to be a tough fight. We just thought they was going to take it from Beaver. And they tried. They tried to take it from Beaver. They tried it. And they wasn't successful. So, I mean, we 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 knew what was up. But um I think when Al Hamer showed them, you know, basically he got in Crawford ear. And probably got in Canelo ear. That's exactly what happened. He got in Crawford Canelo ear, showed them the potential financial statements or the fi potential finances that they can make. Um and they seen the dollar figure amount that he that he he showing them. They like hell yeah, we that's money. Only only thing that can make you do a one eighty like that, you know. You spin my head around, around. Only thing that can make you spin your head around like that is money. That's common sense. That's common sense. The only thing that can make you change your mind like that is common sense. Is money. They showed that ninja how much money that they was possibly going to make. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, hell yeah, I'll get in the ring at 168. I mean, that amount of money, fuck that up. 
Because we all know Canelo going to win. Crawford don't stand the best chance in hell to fuck with Canelo at 168. See, I ain't no hater like y'all until y'all. Well, Spence ain't got no chance. You know what I'm saying? But Crawford got a big man. Hell no. Nah. Al might tell Canelo carry Crawford for a few rounds, and then that shit going to be over with. That's too much mass. The mass differential is just too great. That's too much mass. Real talk. So, but they seen that money. That's what changed their mind. And then Canelo don't want to fight Benavidez. But you know what? I'm going to say that for another video. Because I told myself I'm going to say that for a different video. I'm going to say it for a different video. For real. So, that's too much math. But all that money, money, man, money make you do stranger things. Money make you do stranger things. Make sure you do strange things, dog. You see niggas and cross their day ones. You see niggas' mamas cross them for, for money. Real talk. So, people will buy. And people will try to justify Crawford got a chance, but he don't. What Crawford going to do, going to go up there, got a big win over Errol Spence, probably get another big win over Errol Spence, and then he going to come in there and, and try to get a victory. I heard Bro Max say they going to do their homework and break it down and do all that. All them niggas just going to do is they going to get a check, 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 check. Look at all the young niggas flexing from the bottom. Flexing from the... There you go. That's a retirement check. He might try to come back down, get a belt at 54, end off, or get a, a farewell fight and be done with it. It's about money. It's about money. When you start touching the money that that he made versus Ter Errol Spence, and you you know, and who knows, Errol Spence might pull one out of his ass and come back and win. Shit, you just never know. Stranger things have happened in boxing. He might put that additional seven pounds on. It might look like a totally different fight. So don't count your chickens for a hatch. At all. Don't do that, baby. But it's all about the money. He's seen the financials. Oh, Floyd did this. People forget Floyd had a had Canelo at a two pound weight disadvantage, which it don't don't really matter. But it's a lot it's a lot different when you jumping up to one sixty eight. It's a lot different. They got weight classes for a reason. Crawford seen that money, and that that was the plan for Earl Smith to jump up there now, out and finesse Terrence and told Terrence what he can make to sell his O. And that's what it's about. Nothing more, nothing less. Terrence seen the financials. Oh, shit, this is what I'm going to make if I go sell myself. But you can really get fucking hurt in there. You going in there with somebody that's going to be a heavyweight on fight night. And all money ain't good money. Trust and believe you, boy. All money ain't good money. I done had made some money, some nice money, and it just wasn't worth it. We all didn't have that hard days of work. You got to get paid, but it really wasn't worth it. So, but, hey, that's what he want to do. That's what he want to do. Money can cloud our judgment, too. Why do you think so many drug dealers went to jail? Being greedy. Greed. Greed, but shit, you tell me I got a chance to make 30, 40, 50 million dollars getting in the range. Shit, who, where, where, or how? Shit, get me in there with Deontay Wilder. I ain't worried about that whole ass right hand, boy. Let's go. I'm going to sell that fight. That's right hand sleep me. I probably ain't going to feel that shit, nigga. But what you feel? What I'm going to feel is that money. What do you tell them on, uh, uh, what did uh, Lawrence Taylor tell them on any given Sunday? Don't drop me. He said, what do you say? I'm worth five million or a million dollars. Something like that. Shit. I mean, got his bonus in that movie. That shit wild. Real wild. But that's what happened. Al showed them what they can make. And then Canelo really ain't trying to get in there with the Mexican monster or Demetrius Andre. He ain't trying to get in there with them ninjas. How do he change his tone? He said he's a Benavidez Andre winner of Terrence Crawford. He need my Dennis Crawford. No problem. 
It's me, Mario. He like, hell yeah, get in there and fight that dude. I ain't trying to fight the man to get monster. Say the names. Say the names. I'm the Mohit Man Charlo. Anybody can get it. What up? Say your names. He said, say the names. He ain't gonna say no names. The Mexican monster. Stop calling him that. <laughs> Oh, that shit was funny as hell, dog. Charlo's carry ass. Yeah. I was gonna cut my beard, too. I usually cut it in the summertime. I had to grow back, but boy. I don't know. It's like going through that itchy ass phase. But, uh... But yeah, that's all I got, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Do you names? Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram. I'm everywhere. TikTok. Uh, but I appreciate y'all for tapping in, supporting the channel. Uh, peace.